Hello, everybody. My name is Marshall Brown, Executive Director of the Long Island Conservancy, and I'm here to talk to you today about Japanese barberry, part of our dirty dozen worst invasive plants on Long Island. It has been illegal to sell or to plant in New York State since 2015. There are similar bans in other states. Like most of the plants in our dirty dozen, it was first brought here over 150 years ago when gardening went global and exotics became all the rage. Here it is right here. Take a good look. I'm sure you recognize it. The reason it was banned are several. It quickly spreads either by rhizomes or by seeds and will form thick and penetrable thickets in our woods, wetlands, pastures, and meadows. It changes soil conditions around it, pushing out native plants. Like English ivy, it provides habitat for the white-footed mouse, which is what infects deer ticks with the various diseases that now plague us on Long Island. Because it is non-native, there are no insects here to feed on it. That makes it low maintenance for those who plant it. Deer also avoid it, something that has appealed to landscapers and homeowners. As for the white-footed mouse, they find shelter from predators in its thickets. We can argue what 12 invasive plants belong, in fact, in our dirty dozen, but Japanese barberry has to make the list. Despite the statewide ban on selling or planting this monster, the planting of it is still rampant, case in point. On West Main Street in West Sayville, a drive through bank is being converted into a Starbucks. Somehow six were planted along with, with a lot of other non-native ornamentals. Where were they bought? Who planted them? Is this even being policed? <sighs> There's another invasive we need to talk about now. That is the invasion of chain stores and how they are destroying our main streets. You will see abandoned bank branches all over Long Island. There was a boom in bank branch construction beginning in the late 90s. The builders knew at some point there would be a contraction and that all these buildings would need to be repurposed. The former banks now stand mostly as eyesores on our main streets as their owners look to repurpose them, contributing further to local blight. If we are really to get a hand on invasive plants on Long Island, those redeveloping these properties need to follow the law and be good local stewards. As their properties sit idle, they are soon overrun with invasive plants. The former Capital One Bank right in town has Oriental Bittersweet, Japanese Knotweed, deemed by some the worst invasive on the planet, Japanese Honeysuckle, and who knows what else growing on its abandoned property. Oh yes, also a ton of English Ivy, you will see that. Uh, we are fighting for Long Island's environmental future. Real estate developers and landscapers need to be part of the solution, and there must be actual enforcement of the law. Right now, we are being seriously undermined and walking in our parks and woods has become a high-risk venture given the tick problem. To learn more about the Dirty Dozen campaign, an effort joined by the Science Museum of Long Island, the Sands Point Preserve Conservancy, and the town of North Hempstead, go to www.longislandconservancy.org and check out our blog. Thanks for listening.